Hi all. In the previous video, we learned about bacterial cell walls and capsules. In this video, we'll learn about three other bacterial structures, pili, flagella, and endospores. Pili are short extensions of the cell membrane that extend through the cell wall on the capsule. In an earlier video, we learned about cell size and limitations of the surface area to volume ratio. One way that organisms can increase surface area without increasing the volume is to put folds in the surface. Pili are examples of folds in the cell membrane that increase surface. Pili are extra parts of the cell membrane through which nutrients can be absorbed. Pili are also mechanisms that allow bacterial cells to stick to other bacterial cells. Pili connections between bacterial cells uh, a process called conjugation can allow an exchange of materials including genes between cells. Flagella are long hairs made of proteins that whip around like propellers. Flagellum is the singular form of the word. Some eukaryotic cells also have flagella but eukaryotic flagella are built differently and move differently than bacterial flagella. The function of bacterial flagella uh, is motility swimming through their environments. The flagella act like propellers. The last bacterial structure on our slide is the bacterial endospore. Endospores are dormant stages. If a spore forming bacterial cell finds itself in an environment that is degrading, it will replicate its DNA, place the replica DNA off to the side of the cell, and then produce multiple layers of plasma membrane and cell wall around that DNA. The result is a thickly coated endospore that contains very little cytoplasm. This endospore will resist boiling, exposure to radiation, drying out, and nutrient depletion. The anthrax laced letters that were sent to Senate offices in 2001 were laced with anthrax endospores, not active anthrax cells. Bacterial endospores have even, even been found in amber, fossilized tree sap dated to be 65 plus million years old. Some of those endospores have been germinated after all this time. Endospores will remain dormant until their environmental conditions are again suitable for bacterial growth. They'll then germinate and start growing as active bacterial cells, as if nothing happened, not even a dormancy of 65 million years. Those are some of the structures that are associated with bacterial cells. Not all bacterial cells have any or all of these structures, but they're frequent enough in bacteria and different enough from eukaryotic cells that, they're, that they warranted some description. There weren't that many prokaryotic cell structures, and they were all associated with the outside of the cell. There isn't a whole lot of internal cellular structure in the bacteria, but in the next video, we move on to eukaryotes, where internal cellular spe specialization is a hallmark.